What's up everybody, Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install these Alpha Rex Nova Series headlights in your Toyota Tacoma. A few quick notes before we get started. The headlights we have here are Alpha Rex Nova Series headlights for the Tacoma and no matter what color option you have, this install is going to be basically the same. The other thing that's worth noting is depending on the type of truck you have, the wiring will be slightly different here. Now, I talk about this a little bit more once we actually get into the meat of the install, but you do wanna make sure beforehand that if you have a TRD truck that has projector headlights and DRLs from factory, that you get the proper adapters from Alpha Rex that plug into that light to adapt to the factory wiring on the truck, because you're definitely gonna want those when you get to that stage. Now, for the more bare bones trucks like ours that are SR or SR5 and don't have any sort of DRL strip or anything in them, there is a harness that's included in the kit that you're gonna use. So like I said, we will go into that more in depth, but before you get started on the install, definitely make sure you have the right wiring. So with that out of the way, let's get right into it. All right, the first thing we need to tackle is getting our grill out of the way. And there's two screws here connected to these posts, and you're just gonna use a 10 millimeter socket to pull these off. Now, if you come down to the corner of your headlight behind the grill, there's a tab on each side that needs to be popped up. And all you have to do with these is just kind of get your pry tool underneath, pop the center, and once that's up, you can slide it under the bottom and get the whole clip out. Now, if your truck is equipped with the radar in the front for the adaptive cruise and emergency braking, you're gonna have a wiring harness coming into your grill. So that's the case here. We're gonna kind of pop this little harness back. You can see it right there. And there's a tab that you need to pinch on the underside. It's usually kind of tight, but once that's free, we can just push that out of the way. Now that we've got everything removed, we can take the whole grill off the truck and you're just gonna wanna lift up and outward slightly and it comes out pretty easily. There we go. There are six clips here along the inside of the bumper where the grill was sitting that we're gonna to need to remove because we're gonna to have to pop this back slightly to get behind the light. So once again, grab your pry tool and we'll just pop all these out. So on each side of the truck, you're gonna to wanna to come around into the fender here where the bumper meets, and there's a screw and a plastic clip on each side that we're gonna to remove to give us a little bit more play so we can pop this bumper out slightly. There we go. And over to the passenger side. Now that we've got the screw and clip removed on each side with the wheel well, we're gonna to need to pop this bumper out just a little bit to get access underneath the light because there's a screw hidden inside here. So when we do this, it usually helps to have a body pry tool or two so you can kind of pry at this gap between the bumper and the fender. And then we'll also pull from up here by the headlight and kind of work from back here where the fender's attaching around that little inner liner. None of it is too tricky, but it takes a, just a bit of, uh, you know, hand work here to pry it just right. Now with the bumper pulled back, there's a little pocket right in here with another 10 millimeter screw holding the headlight. So we're just gonna back that out. Moving around to the top of the light, there's two more screws we're gonna remove here to get this thing completely detached from the truck. Now that we've got everything unscrewed and pulled apart for the light, we're gonna just kind of pop this up and outward, but I'm not gonna yank it all the way out just yet because we do have to disconnect the lights and the electrical connectors behind the light. So just pop those off the studs. Okay, there we go. And there you can see our connectors in the back. 
So now we're going to unplug the bulb here at the actual connector and you'll see that ours obviously look a bit different. It's because these are LED bulbs in the headlight, but it's the same idea. You'll just disconnect both the high beam and the low beam here. There we go. There we go, and that undoes the marker and the blinker, so now it should be totally clear. The passenger headlight is all the way out, so now we're gonna do those same steps over here on the driver's side real quick, get this one pulled out, and then we can get our new headlights mounted up. For this next part, you're gonna to wanna to pay close attention because there are some variations here in the kind of wiring that you're gonna be doing depending on what truck you have. So if you have a TRD model vehicle, you probably already have TRD headlights that have a DRL in them and your wiring is gonna be a little bit more plug and play. Now, with that being said, you do wanna make sure that you order the adapters that Alpharex provides that plug into their headlight and adapt it to the factory wiring on the truck. But with that, you're not gonna to have to add any other harnesses. Now for a truck like ours, that's an SR or an SR5, you know, the more base model vehicles, you will get a separate little rat's nest of wiring that you're gonna have to run in here if you want the full functionality of the lights. So instead of trying to just hold that wiring up in a bundle, I ran the harness already and I'm gonna show you where those wires go so you can get an idea of how to run it in your vehicle. So here where the driver's side headlight would be, we're gonna have one yellow wire with this weather sealed plug on the end. And we're also gonna have a pink wire with a little single weather sealed connector. Now, this pink wire has a, another red wire that looks very similar, so you wanna pay close attention to the color of the actual sheathing on there. And so the pink one's gonna stay here on the driver's side, but the red one, you're gonna run across to the passenger side of the vehicle, and you'll see me kind of plug that in and hook it up when we get to that point. Moving back from there, you are gonna have a box, which I tucked up in here, that's kind of like a little resistor pack with some of the circuitry required to run the DRLs and everything that this harness is going to equip in the vehicle. So I mounted the box up in here with some 3M adhesive where it's out of the way and it's not gonna get splashed or dirty. Then from there, you are gonna have a little bit thicker red wire and black wire, which are gonna be your power and ground for the battery. And you'll be able to really tell those apart from the rest of the wires in the harness because they do have a little ring connector or a C connector that's gonna fit onto the vehicle. So I brought that around. The red one obviously came straight up to the battery and I just threaded in right here with this 10 millimeter nut. Then for the ground, I went over here to where the main ground wire attaches to the body instead of just attaching it to the actual clamp for the post on the battery. That way it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to disconnect or reconnect the ground. As you can see, I have it off right now, so it wasn't gonna shock me or do anything with the wiring. Then moving back slightly further into the fuse box behind the battery, you're gonna have one last wire to bring in there and it's a skinny gray wire. There's only one like it in this harness. So you're gonna tap that into the fuse you see here. And once you have that tied in, you should be pretty well set to go. You obviously want to run a few zip ties and things or, you know, pull this into some sheathing and weather seal where you feel it's appropriate. So that way it stays relatively clean. But after you have that harness in, the rest of the install is going to be plug and play. Now I'm going to bring our new driver's side headlight into place, kind of prop it up here. So now I'm going to grab this first yellow wire from that new harness and we're going to plug it into this little single port. Make sure it clicks. Then we can take the pink wire from that same harness and the pink is gonna go to this extra brown tab you'll see sticking out. There you go. And there should be a faint click when you feel those pop together. Now reaching down here to grab the factory harness, pull that out of the way. We're gonna have a connector with a yellow inside. That's gonna be for the high beams. So you can see that the harness on the back of the Alpha X light is marked high as well. So these are gonna plug in. There we go. Then this gray three prong is gonna match up with the three prong harness coming off the light on this end. And now reaching down for the other part of the factory harness, we're gonna have a green connector here. This is gonna be for the low beam. And once again, you'll see here on the headlights connector, it says low beam there. So we will meet that with this green. Click it in. 
And then lastly, at the very end, we've got a dark gray connector. This is gonna come all the way around to the marker in the corner. And there we go. So now we're gonna do the same process on the passenger side, plug everything in, and then we're gonna test it to make sure that the lights work. Both headlights are working perfect. We've got all the wiring buttoned up. So now all we have to do is install this light the same way we took out the factory one and we're just gonna walk through the same steps backwards. All right, guys, that is gonna be a wrap on this install for the Alpha Rex headlights. We got everything put in. It's looking really sharp on this truck. And it's worth noting that we are gonna do a review down the road once we've had a bit of time to run these and get some miles on there and really test them out at night and see how we like the beam patterns and how the light works and you know make sure it's gonna hold up to a little bit of torture testing. So with that being said, you can keep an eye out for that video in the future after we've had a chance to really review them wholly. And if you are interested in picking up a set of these Alpha Rex headlights for your truck, we'll have some links down in the description that are gonna shoot you over to our website so you can take a look there. Now, as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.